Good afternoon sports fans. Uh, for the first video on the YouTube channel we're going to talk about gear. This is the Alice set I'm currently using. I have a couple, but this is the one I'm primarily with out in the field when we're playing airsoft. I'm not going to stress, this is my own custom gear. I've took some ideas and pointers from uh, photos and videos and whatnot of old school gear that the United States military used. but. I personalized to my own own preferences. And I'm gonna go through all the modifications that I've done to it and talk a little bit about what I usually carry on weekend games. So let's get started. So first thing uh, is the bandolier. As you guys know, Alice gear doesn't have that much carrying capacity. Uh, I have two magazine pouches, of which two of them are used for magazines. So I have six magazines on my belt, one in my primary, and I have four in this bandolier. They're all metal. Uh, I think their capacity is around 90 or 100 BBs, something like that. So if the games are lasting longer, if it's a, like a couple of hours or something like that, I usually take this bandolier with me to have some extra ammunition. And then these other two pouches that I'm not using for magazines. Uh, one of them is for my radio. Right here. It's a Baofeng radio with a large capacity battery. So it easily lasts me for a couple of days. Uh, it's extremely useful when you're going on longer games. For example, every year we go to Sweden on a 45 day game. And that battery lasts me the whole game. And in these other parts here, I have extra essentials that I need, like a pen, some all-weather notebook, a small LED flashlight, some tape, a lighter, a storm matches. I also have some 550 cord here somewhere. And also, come on there, uh, multi-tool. I have a Leatherman, but I'm not carrying it with me at this moment. Useful stuff, you never know when you're gonna need them. And they all fit in the small pouch here. And of course, since we're Finns, my dad always told me never go into the forest without a knife. So you need to have a knife. <coughs> a knife is a tool. I'm not using this in games, of course, since it's a real knife. It's just a basic sur survival knife I bought from a local store. I think it's made by Miltech. It's a good knife. I like it. And it goes on my belt. I've attached it with paracord. So I don't have to take away the pouches if I want to take the knife off. Uh, sometimes I move uh, move the canteen pouches a bit closer together so I can fit my Bianchi uh, pistol holster there. I usually use it with a uh, leg extender so it goes below the canteen so it's easier to draw. And uh, two canteens, both are dummy corded so if the snaps fail and the canteen falls I don't lose, I don't lose anything into the forest. So I I've tied them together like this. Very useful. And here I have some trioxane tablets. Uh, these are from my SBIT cooker. I don't have the US, US ones. You can't actually get them here in Finland. But these work just the same. So if you want to boil some water in the forest with your uh, canteen cup and canteen cup stove, you can use those. And the same thing with this canteen, it's dummy corded the same way, and the cord is attached to the belt right here. And the modifications I've done for the suspenders, I've removed the metal clips, so when you're carrying a rucksack, the metal clips, they, they stuck onto your back, like, really bad. So I've replaced them with 550 cord. 
that you could say that this don't this will fall apart I've used this for over a year with with a full load and also with a butt pack at the bottom here and I never had any problems with this breaking or coming apart and the same thing here on the front I removed the middle mega, uh, middle clips and replaced them with 550 cord. Uh, what else? What else? Yeah, the belt itself. <clears throat> As you might know, the Alice keepers they can cause some pain when you when you're uh, wearing the LBE. So I've uh, took a strip from a uh, foam mattress, it's a basic, like usual US military uh, foam mattress. I've took a strip and tied it to the belt with a 550 cord. It's really, really, really comfortable. You can also buy like uh, belt pads from Eagle, Black Hawk, they cost like 30, 40 euros or something like that. So but this, this is really inexpensive. The mattress costs like 10 euros and you can get 550 cord from anywhere, basically. And for communications, I have a, uh, this is a replica, it's not a real one. It's a Chinese replica, of, I think it's made by uh, ZTAC or something like that. It's not waterproof, I've gone through six or seven of these, but it gets the job done. And I also have a Bowman style headset to go with that. And lastly, I have two first aid or compass pouches on both sides of my belt. Uh, in this one I have two field bandages. Currently I only have one because I gave one away. Basic green muslin bandages, you can use them to uh, Basically for every, everything, not only for gunshot wounds. <laughs> I found them really useful. Uh, I even made a weapon sling out of one of those when my when one of my but broke a couple of years ago in Bariat. And in this side, same pouch again, but in here it's a small boo boo kit, so to speak. I have some bandages, some antiseptic, just small stuff. So. If you get abrasions or something like that, or a small cut, I have everything I need in here, and also a larger med kit in my backpack when I'm carrying one. But yeah, that's that's the gear I'm currently using, and I'm gonna do another video about my weaponry and my rucksack, and tell a little bit about the stuff I carry on longer games. But that's it for now. Stay out of the crosshairs, stay in the shadows, and keep playing airsoft. Appreciate it, thank you.